Welcome to our Django tutorial. Today, we're tackling an important question that many developers encounter. How do I run tests against a Django data migration? We'll explore a practical example from the Django documentation that demonstrates how to combine first and last names into a full name during a migration. But how can we ensure that this migration works correctly? Let's find out. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To test a Django data migration, we first need to create a test case that will run the migration and check the results. Let's start by importing the necessary modules. Next, we will create a test class that inherits from test case. Inside this class, we will define a method to set up our test data before running the migration. Now, we will write a test method that will apply the migration and then verify that the names have been combined correctly. Finally, we can run our tests using the Django test runner. This will execute our migration and confirm that the data has been migrated as expected. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To run tests against a Django data migration, you can start by creating basic unit tests for your migration functions. However, there are a couple of challenges to consider. The first challenge is that migration file names start with numbers, which can cause syntax errors when importing. You can either rename the file or use Python's import module function. The second challenge is that migration functions expect two arguments, apps and schema editor. You can import apps from django.apps and get schema editor from the active database connection. Here's a simple example of how to implement this. First, import the necessary modules, then create a test case that sets up a dummy object and runs the migration function. Finally, you can assert the expected outcome to ensure your migration works correctly. This approach helps you validate your data migrations before applying them. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To run tests against a Django data migration, you can add a simple if statement in a previous migration to check if the test suite is running. If it is, you can add initial data. This allows you to write tests to verify the final state of your objects. Make sure your conditional is compatible with production. For example, you can use this code snippet to check if the tests are running, if test in sys.argv. For a more comprehensive solution, check out an older blog post that offers additional insights and comments on testing Django migrations.
And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped find that solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.